Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and this video is um, another video on foods from our, our deep pantry that I'm kind of going through and um, seeing how they taste. Uh, we're a military family, we're getting to ready, ready to move again, so um, I'm trying to use up some of the things that we have on hand uh, so we don't have to move them. Uh, today we're talking about cheese in a can. Uh, kind of an odd food. Um, this is Bega brand cheese. I'm not sure there is more than one brand of cheese in a can, but this is the one that I have. Um, this is made in Australia and it says the great Australian cheese. And it does say that it's a processed cheese. And processed cheese means that it's a bunch of cheese that's um, melted and emulsified and then re-poured and solidified. It doesn't mean that it's fake cheese or anything like that. It just means that um, it has been processed um, and it's not um, just the regular unprocessed block of cheese anymore. Uh, this one has, uh, let's see, six servings per can. Uh, each serving is 110 calories and nine grams of fat and also six grams of protein. Uh, so that's, uh, that's not bad. I'm trying to see if there's an expiration date on it. Um, I've had it less than a year and I'm interested to see how long it lasts. I usually a low acid food, um, you know, like evaporated milk or something like that is going to last several years. It's going to last, um, three to five years, um, at a minimum. And sometimes it can be a bit longer. So I'm just going to, uh, pop the top on this and, uh, see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Um, if you see, the inside of the lid has sort of this arrow and rings, and the cheese itself has the arrow and rings. Uh, wow, that's that's really interesting. Oh, it's much, um, I was expecting it to be kind of soft, but it's pretty firm. Um, it's not quite as firm as um, a block of like a block of cheddar would be, but it, but it is nice and firm um, and it's bouncy. It almost has like the texture of a bouncy ball, like those little bouncy balls, um, which I know is, is kind of awful to say. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get it out of the can. I uh, wonder if I have a can opener around. I do. Um, it's just a little can opener, like a little P38 can opener. I'm going to go around and open this. And you know, I did I did some research on uh, on this cheese, and what I found was that you can eat it just plain, uh, but it also melts pretty well. And like I said, this cheese is from Australia. And it's, it's used in Australia by, by people who, um, who live in, in very rural areas where things like, you know, milk and cheese and stuff is, is not easy to get. So this is not an uncommon food from what I've read. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, um, but I guess in, you know, in rural Australia, people... Um, you know, people will eat this pretty commonly. Um, I got a six pack of this. If you're wondering how much it costs, I think it worked out to, um, to about $5 a can, which is not cheap, but it's also not terribly expensive. Um, so the bottom, interestingly, you know, the bottom, it doesn't look like it was flat up against the bottom of the can. Um, it was flat up against the lid. It's almost like it was like the, the pop lid was already on here. And then it was poured into the can with the can upside down and left to solidify like that. I'm going to try to kind of push this out of the can. Okay, so it comes comes out better if I push from the top. If you are using one of those little P38 can openers. Um, be very careful because they leave pretty jagged edges on your can. This 
is not the easiest thing to do, but it is working. There we go. So that came out pretty cleanly um, from that can. The can has kind of a white uh, lining. And we're gonna put the lids, lids back in there with the can opener. So here is the block of cheese and it looks and feels and even smells um, just like kind of a basic cheddar. Um, oh, it cuts very smoothly. It's a very, very smooth sort of a cheese. And uh, let's cut a slice off of this and see how it tastes. Okay. It's like the flavor of cheddar with the texture of Velveeta. And that's the best way I can describe it. I bet this would melt really well and make a very good like macaroni and cheese kind of a sauce. Let's try it on a cracker. That's better. But it's not bad. It's um, way better than I thought it would be. Um, this is something I could see taking on a road trip. And, you know, just to be able to have some cheese if we didn't have a cooler or if it was like an extended trip. And, uh, and you know, we didn't want to bring a bunch of refrigerated food. Um, it's not really practical. You know, our we're a large family. We have nine kids. So a little can like this, you know, this is only going to be like some, some cheese and crackers for a handful of people. Um, it's not something that I think you can practically make a meal out of. Um, that's just not, not practical, not realistic, um, because of the cost of it. Um, but you know, <clears throat> sorry, it's, you know, it's an interesting food and it's, uh, you know, just a unique thing. And I, I think it's, it's good to have in a storage pantry just for variety um, as well as to get get some protein um, you know canned meat preserved meat like jerky is pretty expensive so you know compared to um, like a can of of you know beef or something this really isn't that expensive um, and it's 